I'll call to order the regular meeting of the West Valley City Council uh, for the last one of the year and my last time conducting this meeting as mayor and Councilman Don Christensen's last time presiding up here with us as well. So it's kind of a bittersweet time, but we hope to have a little bit of fun today as well in our last meeting. Um, item number two is the roll call. Let the roll call show that each member of the council is present and accounted for today. And item three is the opening ceremony, and we take turns on who gets to host that to do different things. And it happens to be my turn today, and so I thought we'd have a little fun. So, Mr. Arslanian, if you could please cue the music. secret plans. <laughs> My understanding is that these secret, this secret transmission was intercepted by Imperial Scouts near the western edge of the Outer Rim Territories. Thank you, Lord Vader, for, for retrieving it. It reads, a long time ago, in a city not so far away, a council met to maintain peace and harmony throughout their domain of the galaxy. The members of this council changed from time to time. Princess Carolyn was replaced by Master Tom of the Hewn, for example, and Darth Brooks was replaced by Karen Lang of the leafy Oak Ridge world, for instance. It is understood that seats on this governing council will soon be changed again, and that the beginning of the meetings of this council has long featured some of the finest opening ceremonies in the galaxy. Video transmissions showing heroic quotes and inspiring historic moments have been shared through the years. Scouts leading flag ceremonies have marched in these chambers, and the Pledge of Allegiance has been recited often. The Imam from the Khadija Mosque has begun the meetings with prayer, as has a traveling Hindu leader, members of the Falun Dafa, and Christian priests. Music, patriotic and celebratory music has been shared. But never has this council's opening ceremony included a celebration of Life Day, the popular holiday from the Wookiee planet of Kashyyyk. In the words of Princess Leia Organa, this holiday is yours, but we all share with you the hope that this day brings us closer to freedom and to harmony and to peace. No matter how different we appear, I hope that this day will always be a day of joy in which we can reconfirm our dedication and our courage, and more than anything else, our love for one another. And now this transmission from Princess Leia and these, the Rebels also included a video, and I don't know if we should play this song or not, but I guess we better since it is the holidays and life day is a holiday somewhere.
is the cheesiest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> would, would, would you and your troopers please go out and find this rebel scum and take good care of this? Thank you. And thank you so much. We appreciate Mark Fordham, commanding officer of the Alpine Garrison, and his crew with the 501st Legion of the Star Wars Costuming Organization. Let's give them a round of applause. We wish all of you a happy holidays, whether it's a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa, and of course a Happy Life Day to all of you. May the Force be with you. Thank you again, Alpine Garrison. We also want to acknowledge the Cub Scout group with us today that has to dash to another appointment, but thank you for staying with us. I told you it'd be worth their 10 minutes to stick around for Darth Vader. Thank you. I have item 4 is special recognitions. We acknowledge the, the Scout group and of course the Imperial visitors we've had.